I'm Jim Talbert, and I own the Full Circle Bookstore in Oklahoma City at 50 Pin Place. The store was started uh, almost 40 years ago uh, by a young man by the name of Mark McGee. Uh, it was a counterculture bookstore, a hippie bookstore, as it were. Uh, in 1978, I was running a significant public company and felt like I needed something more tangible and something more in line with my fantasies, too. So I bought the little store, ran it on the weekends. Uh, over time, it's kind of just grown. <laughs> in 1980, there was a fire in the ne restaurant next door that we burned out of our initial location, and we moved into this building, and we've been in this building 32 years. I think we've survived by f increasing our focus all the time on the nature of our customer, on the quality of customer service, because uh, we think that it turns out that most places, uh, particularly chains, weren't very good at that part. And that was what we did very well. Uh, by emphasizing events and making it a center of the community, not just a literary center of the community, but literally a center of the community. Uh, and by projecting to the world our love of what we were doing and what was here. And that seems to have worked. Uh, and it continues to work. And we innovate all the time. We're forever trying to come up with new ideas and new approaches to doing things. Uh, new kinds of promotions, new kinds of events, new kinds of services to add to our book list. We do a service called book catering, where we take books, anybody speaking in the city anywhere that has a book will take books to that event. Uh, that's not, uh, that's turned out to be a very helpful thing to us. Uh, sometimes the author comes to the store, sometimes they don't, but often they sign stock, and signed autograph stock of somebody who's been in the city makes a difference as well as what we sell at the event. I think Oklahoma City probably is like most places. Uh, there's an element of our customer base who reads uh, mysteries and reads popular fiction, and there's no, they ha we probably have most of the market for literary fiction. Uh, a lot of not, for, uh, a lot of nonfiction, of course. Uh, biography, in particular, seems to do well. Uh, current uh, events does well. Right now, politics does well. Um, there's, it's, it's a broad spectrum. Um, and then books, we do, we place a great emphasis on things that are about Oklahoma or by Oklahomans, and that results in our having a, a lot of authors here who are with that focus, and that broadens, uh, that inclines people to be more interested in those books. Well, when I was originally got in the business, I, one of my visions was I was gonna go gracefully into my old age in the book business, kind of smoking a pipe, sort of an image of myself. As it turned out, I don't smoke a pipe anymore, and uh, it's become brutally competitive. And to me, competing initially with the chains was something we learned how to do, because we, we uh, catered to people who were serious readers, and we structured our pricing and our sources and our uh, promotions around that idea. We have the most knowledgeable staff by far of anybody in the city, and that worked well, competing against the chains. Uh, then we came along to compete against Amazon and it got tougher, but we held our own against that. Uh, electronic books are another matter. That's taking a significant percentage of the market away and completely out of our opportunity to participate. Uh, there's no way to directly compete with them except to convince people that they're foolish to go to them, and that's not going to happen. But what I think I've found is that that seems to be I won't say it's peaking, but it's, it is not, the new adapters have evolved and the market is not growing as fast for electronic books as it once was. And I think there will remain a niche for real books. Apparently it's more than half of the market will remain for real books. And as long as that's true, we can compete. What's your advice to somebody who wants to start an independent bookstore? Don't. And I don't mean to be harsh. It's, this is not a business for someone to build their life around in the future. It's a great business for people like us to build a, to live with. And I certainly hope that someone is, succeeds to this bookstore. But to start one from scratch now, I think would just be beyond challenging.